my daughter and I are gonna be showing you our updated curly hair routine. How we wash, style, and refresh our hair. Jaira and I have been getting a lot of requests from you guys asking that we do an updated hair routines. A lot of stuff has changed since our last curly hair update. Since moving here to Idaho, it's a drier climate, so we've had to adapt a little bit more with that. We do have similar hair, but also it is a lot different. Hers is not as dry as mine, so I use different products than she does, and we do different techniques as we style our hair. We're still learning learning a lot about what can go in our hair and what helps our hair. There's probably a lot of stuff you're like, why are you using that? But this is normally what my hair looks like on day five. Like a wolf. It's ready for another wash. <laughs> what do you usually do first? Like, what do you mean? Like for wash, like before you wash? Or do you do before... anything for prep before you wash? Mm -mm. Who does that? I do. Ugh. Okay, hand me, hand me that jar. So I use this oil. It is Tropic Isle, and I just go along my head, and it's for hair growth and to strengthen your roots. It's also Tropic Isle. Um, it's the black castor oil, so this is also good for your hair, skin. You can even put this on your eyelashes, nails, your beard. Eyebrows and brows or skin. It can go on a lot of things. This stuff is good stuff. I can use it right now. I'm, I'm gonna do it right now. Okay. So I take the lid off. First I go down the middle. So I squeeze it and I go down the middle. You know, wherever it needs it. Just get you got white hair. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I usually do this kind of thing every other wash. Switch. <laughs> so I do like that. Yeah, here, I'll um, I put the lid on. I don't want that to dip. And then I just get it in my fingers so it's like everywhere. And then I just get it close as I can to the roots, to the very top of my head. It doesn't smell too bad. This is interesting yeah, smell. Yeah, it smells like thieves-ish. I mean, I think they're beans or something. <laughs> I'm just gonna let this oil sit in my hair for 30 minutes. So while it's sitting in my hair, Jaira is gonna go do her wash First, you ready? Yeah. Ready to get this started? Yeah. All right, let's go. This is called day four hair. I like to get my hair really wet before adding shampoo. A very little bit of shampoo. I give it a couple scrubs and rinse it out. Have you ever tried washing your hair in a tiny sink? Well, let me tell you, it's not easy. Next, I add conditioner and I love a lot of conditioner in my hair. I like to grab my wet brush and work my tangles out from bottom to top. So I need more space. My hair is way too long for the sink. Now I'm gonna let the conditioner sit in my hair for 15 minutes. All right, so the 15 minutes is up and it's time to wash all of that conditioner out of my hair. That is it, I'm completely done with my wash. All right, so it's my turn. I'm kinda excited to get this hair washed. I like the temperature of the water to be warm. My hair takes a little bit of time to get completely wet. It seems like there's a lot of layers of just dry hair. I'm gonna start off with my favorite shampoo and since I did have some oils in my hair, I'm gonna use a little bit more than normal. I shampoo once every other wash. I love this brush. If you don't have this, I highly recommend this brush to you. It helps deep condition your hair. If you have a dry scalp, this thing will change your life. I like to give my hair a really good scrub just to make sure that there's no more oils left. I don't want my hair to be greasy at all after I am finished. I like to leave the shampoo in my hair for about 10 minutes. This really helps the shampoo do its job. Okay, 10 minutes is up. Let's get the shampoo thoroughly scrubbed out. I think everyone's trying to be in this video. <laughs> if you're on your story. <laughs> All right, let's get to repairing my hair. I really love this protein treatment. I get a good amount and make sure I get it everywhere on my hair. Okay, this is another brush that I really like. It's a detangler brush and it does an amazing job. I always start with brushing the ends of my hair, then work my way up. This process just makes brushing tangles tears free. <laughs> 
After brushing my hair completely smooth, I like to wrap it on top of my head and let the protein treatment sit for about 10 minutes. This is the final step to the wash. I am going to rinse out the protein treatment completely until there's nothing left and that is it. The next step is to style it. I like to use the Blueberry Bliss uh, leave-in conditioner. That it's stuff is good. Really, it, it smells, smells good. so good. It's shea moisture, um, hydrate repair, multi-action leave-in conditioner. This stuff is Manuka honey and yogurt. You Ooh. wipe your hair? My hair. Just oh. like little misty. Ah. <laughs> she needs a little bit of this stuff, come on. Like about that much. Especially the ends, that's where it gets really dry. And then after a while of scrunching it, I turn to the side okay. and keep scrunching it. Okay. Your hair looks really good. It doesn't look like you have a lot of loose um, hair, which is what frizz is. I'm starting with mine. I'm going to just part it. We'll be pin, pin it just out of the way. I'm just keep scrunching it. I use this cream. It's the same brand, but it's a curl cream. Try not to like overdo it because you put too much stuff in your hair and it doesn't look good. Yeah, it's so. And then it turns out all like stringy and like, yeah. It feels really gross. Yeah, so I tried to, I mean, I'm just putting like a little bit on, ring it through. I think this helps so much. I'm gonna use this Demon brush, this, I love. And then I just go around my head and I like to brush at the roots and kind of go up just so I'm not brushing my hair down. I like to just brush it out. It gives it a little bit more volume. That's the called mane. the mane. I love that gel. Oh. So she's gonna use that. Yeah, whatever, that thing. How much are you using? Three fingers. So the next thing I'm gonna do with this that I already styled, I'm gonna use the Blueberry Bliss. And this is a really good gel. It's just like the leave-in conditioner Jaira is using, same one. Um, but I like the gel more than the leave-in conditioner. I like the leave-in conditioner more <laughs> than the gel. I know. Use like that much, not a lot. And then I kind of grab the hair and Get it in. And then a little bit on this side. Spread it around and then contact. Your hair looks so good. <laughs> I mean, it's I have a feeling my hair is gonna be still a little frizzy. So her clumps are nice and smooth together. Mine, you already can like see frizz. They're like already separated, I don't know. So I already conditioned this piece. I'm going to put a little bit of the cream, oh man, I'm just gonna use like a very little bit. Kind of brush it through. <laughs> My hair is drying way too fast, so I'm gonna use this. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay. so cold. So I'm gonna find the top piece right here. I'm gonna brush it out and scrunch it up and throw it back. I just did. I'm gonna bring forward and get some gel. Oh, that's so pretty. And I'm gonna put some gel in. Just careful, blend it, and then bring them all together. With curly hair, you have to be like really careful because you don't want to mess with it too much or they start splitting from each other. And oh no, no kidding. Braids. What do you usually do? Um, a um, mousse. A mousse. And you gotta shake it really good. It smells so good. But it's nice. It's kinda hard to keep though. So there's yours. So I get a little bit on my hands, kinda like that. And I put it on like that. And I get it in the roots, the top. And then I scrunch it all together. You put it up there too. Yeah. There we go. And there. It smells so mm. good. I know, it smells really good in here. So I'm gonna make sure all these containers are good. What do you, run, 
Go, run, run, fast, go, fast. <laughs> I like to, I think it's called plopping, um, where you put your hair in like a t-shirt or a micro, microfiber Micros towel. Yeah. So let's get our t-shirts. <laughs> um, and okay, this is how we did. I start with the shirt like this and okay. lay it out. So the sleeves are out like that. So we're gonna flip our hair and place it in the middle and then tie this behind our neck. So get our hair directly, nice. And go straight down and bring this and tie it. And this comes up. I can never ever do this. And this comes up and we tie it. I know you have cute little curls right there. Mine are like popping out a little bit. I like to let it sit for like 20 minutes. It, it just helps get the curls like situated. So I'm gonna get the blow dryer and I'm gonna diffuse my hair. Jaira is gonna be making a lunch breakfast burrito and she's gonna put it together. Um, so my hair, this is just a regular craft blow dryer that my kids use and I just add and a diffuser attachment, put it on the end. It's probably gonna take me probably 20 minutes My hair is about 50% dry now, and I'm gonna start diffusing by scrunching my hair inside the diffuser. Get it closer. So now my hair is about 75% dry. And I like to take the same t-shirt I use to wrap my hair and just kind of scrunch out any of that gel that um, is left over any hair product that's stopping my hair from curling even more. That is finished. I am gonna go back in with the diffuser and finish drying it to about 90%. I don't like to dry it too much because that contributes to my dry hair problem. All right. I am done diffusing my hair. It's finished, almost. I have a few things that I like to do. I put my hair in bobby pins and that helps. Oh, that looks delish. Breakfast burrito, what do you got? Cheese, bacon, bacon sausage, sausage, egg. egg. Uh, a little bit of cheese. It's a, a vinegar balsamic. glaze, balsamic vinegar glaze on top. You ready? Three? This looks so good. Two. I, I want to eat Two. it now. Mm. If you've never tried balsamic vinegar glaze on top of your breakfast burrito. So I have these bobby pins. I'm gonna put these in my hair while Jaira, while I'm drying Jaira's hair. I just place a bobby pin in the back of my head and twist it, wrap the hair around it. And that just kind of helped with the drying process and kind of lift my hair up from my head. Normally, Jairava likes to let her hair just dry and her hair dries so fast, so that usually works. But because of time, we are gonna dry her hair so you can see what it looks like done and complete. So you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna scrunch out her hair, so I'm gonna break the cap. We're soft and bouncy. We're soft and bouncy. Yeah. Uh, curl it. Your hair is just like ah! the perfect consistency of like the product you put in. Your hair is so curly. I still have the body pins in my hair, so I'm gonna pop them out right now. And then I like to fluff my hair out a little bit so that it's not like, you know, too stiff. Just Fluff it out. The next thing is what we do when we freshen our hair up. How do you put your hair when you go to bed? I put my or hair. How do you like your hair? I lay my hair like that over mm -hmm. my pillow. Yeah. Yeah. So if we lay on our side, itchy. we make sure our hair is out of the way. So when we lay down, mm -hmm. we usually don't do any freshening up to our hair 
until day two or maybe even day three, depending on how crazy the last couple days were. We are gonna show you how we freshen our hair up and make it look a lot better after it's gotten really frizzy and just the curls have like fallen out a lot and your hair looks really good. So this is the back. This is what it looks like day four, the back of our hair. Here my hair has been up in a bun, ponytail, and I'm sleeping on my hair. So what I like to start off, I use this spray bottle and just kind of mist my hair, get it a little wet and then add a little bit of the main gel and then a little bit of mousse like by my roots. I also use a water sprayer but I add in some leave-in conditioner and shake it up really well, spray it in my hair, not too wet, just enough to get my hair curlier than what it looks like now. And I let it air dry. like to put my hair up in a t-shirt right after I freshen up because I do get it a lot more wet and I don't like it dripping. It's freshened up and it looks so healthy. All right, our hair is finished. I just diffused my hair a little bit to dry it out. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Here, show the back of our hair. I think it turned out really well. Okay, let's show the back. Okay, so this is Jaira's hair turned out really well. She just has a lot of good curls in here. All right, so let us know in the comments below what you thought of our routine. If you guys have a routine that you love and a technique or process you do that works really well, especially for drier hair, let me know. I'd be happy to hear what you guys do. That is the end of our routine. See you guys next Saturday.